Alright, so here is fortunately a pretty simple problem with a pretty simple premise. We're given a set of uh, values here with units, and all of those units have prefixes, like this little m, or this mu symbol, or the, the p. And the problem asks us to take all of these and write them as full without the prefixes. Now one of the main things with this problem is really just seeing how well you remember, or if you can remember, or even just look up what the prefixes are and what they indicate. So for our A here, we've got 286.6 millimeters. If there was only one M, that would be meters, but since we've got another M in front of it, that's millimeters. That small m can be taken to mean the prefix milli, which means thousandth. So probably the easiest way to do this is to keep in mind what those unit prefixes mean in terms of powers of 10. So in the case of milli, uh, milli is a thousandth. So what that means is that the value without the prefix is multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 3. So this value right here is basically equal to 286.6 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. So that's what this value is without the unit prefix, or in scientific notation specifically. This still doesn't technically answer the problem, since the problem wants them out written in full decimal notation, which is something that's not really practical, not something you would typically want to do normally, but the, the point of this problem is testing your skills with that. So we can basically figure that out by counting out how many places we'll have to go back. So this is a negative number, so let's uh, start at the decimal point and count 1, 2, 3 to the left, since it's negative. So that means that this can also be written as 0 0.2 eight six six meters and this is what the problem is looking for just the numbers without any scientific notation and without any unit prefixes we continue on now with part b part b is 85 uh, mu v so the mu is a prefix meaning a millionth or a micro and the v is a volt so this 85 microvolts a millionth is to the power of negative six so we can write this as 85 times 10 to the power of negative 6 volts. And we can use the same process for part A, where the, the exponent here is negative. So since the decimal point is right here by default, we can find out how many zeros we'll have to add to this by starting here and then counting 6 backwards. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 0 point and then followed by four zeros before we get to eight five volts. So again, so, so with this part especially, we can see why this notation is not practical, but, it, it, but for the sake of this problem, it illustrates what, the, what this basically means. Same thing with part C, uh, actually kind of redundant prefix here since we already did milli with part A, but that's 760 times 10 to the negative three grams because it's milligrams, which is equal to the decimal point starts here and then counting backwards three. So one, two, three. This is equal to 0 0.760 grams. As a random fun fact, it might be worth noting that most of the time we'll see units of mass or dimensions of mass written in units of kilograms. So I don't know if that's what they're looking for here, but this just should answer the, the problem. For part D, we've got 62.1 picoseconds. Um, 62.1 pico. So pico is a prefix meaning to the power of negative 12. So it's in the negative 12 seconds. So this is going to be kind of an annoying one to do. So that's, that's 1, 2, and then if we were to keep counting, that'd be 10 more zeros. So this is going to be equal to 10, so 0 0.10 zeros. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It looks more like a 6, my bad. 6, 2, 1 seconds. And then that is our obnoxiously long answer for part D. 
Then you've got part E, which is going to be almost as bad, since we've got a prefix of N, that's a nano, so 22.5 nanometers, which means to the power of negative 9, that is a billionth of a meter. So it's going to be, we'll work backwards, so we've got to count back 9, 9 steps, so I'll count backwards, that's 9, 8, so that's 1, 2, and that'll be 7 more. So that'd be 0 point followed by seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then after that, two, two, five meters. And so that is part E. And then lastly, we have part F, which is bad in the opposite direction. So this time we've got giga, which is a prefix that usually you'll see it written with like a, a capital G, and then volts is usually a capital V. I don't know why they did it differently for this one. Usually you'd see this as like 2.50, capital G, capital V, GV. But either way, gigavolts. Giga is a prefix meaning billion. So where nano is billionth, this is billion. So that's times 10 to the power of positive 9. So this time we'll count forward. So it'll be 1, 2, and then we'd keep going to 9. So that's going to be 2.50 plus 7 more zeros. That's 2 billion, 500 million volts. And that is our translation or conversion for part F. So yeah, so when the numbers look like this, it's much easy to see. It's much easier to see in this problem why using unit prefixes is so helpful, because it makes numbers look so much simpler if you just do what's written on the left here. And this problem kind of helps to illustrate that with how tedious it is to write out all the zeros. That said, that is all for this video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I hope this helped you out otherwise. Uh, and I've got a Discord server linked in the description down below where you can ask questions. If you have a request for a problem you'd like me to cover in the future on this channel, or if you'd just like to make a suggestion or give some feedback in general. So that is all for now though, thank you for watching and have a nice day.